should pregnant women take the vaccine it's not as simple because there have been there are very limited studies uh, on pregnant women in the first trimester there's likely to be many women who don't know they're pregnant is that yeah. something to watch out for before they go take that vaccine you know just because they have taken the vaccine in the first trimester or they've taken the vaccine and then they've conceived that is not an indication to terminate the pregnancy if women are aiming to get pregnant or undergoing fertility treatment right now which you are an expert in should they avoid taking the vaccine does it not matter what's your advice definitely they can take that the vaccine do not if you're trying your fertility treatment just don't Uh, delay the vaccine just because you might get pregnant there's absolutely no scientific endocrinological uh, neurological or uh, hormonal uh, disturbance of the vaccine when you have your period but starting the 1st of may the government of india announced that everyone above the age of 18 would be eligible to get vaccinated that brings in the group of people between the ages of 18 and 44 largely young adults now along with the fact that this age group can now be vaccinated of course there are many questions about the fact that vaccines are not available but it has also brought in a new set of questions expecting pregnant mothers new mothers who are breastfeeding or lactating whether or not they should take the vaccine whether they should take the vaccine if they happen to be breastfeeding whether they can give a uh, covid to their children and what the ideal treatment should be because they fall specifically in this age group now i do know that it is becoming difficult in many of our cities to get the vaccine at all but we're going to attempt to answer many of these questions by bringing in experts and joining me this evening is dr kiran coelho one of india's foremost gynecologists uh, who has been um, you know at the forefront of uh, everything in the obgyn uh, sort of space in india and she's very kind to have given us her time dr coelho good evening and thank you for joining me here on this conversation so dr quello my first question to you is fairly simple and the question is this between the age groups of 18 to 44 should pregnant women right now and i'll get to lactate in a later should pregnant women take the vaccine what is the advice at this time see it's not as simple as that fear you okay. see it's not as simple because there have been there are very limited studies Uh, on pregnant women they were not included in the vaccination we have no studies as of now for the vaccine we're talking about the indian scenario in the for the covid shield and the covaxin we have no pregnancy studies in pregnancy so no vaccine. trials were done on pregnant women at all so we It don't know yeah absolutely It can never be done so and no pregnant women have taken the vaccine so we don't know but we can learn from Uh, the experience of other countries now for example up to now up to the end of april and in february they put out a statement 20000 do- uh, 20000 do- pregnant women were vaccinated in the united states and they did not have any uh, side effects there were no problems whatsoever now other societies for example us fda acog and federation of uh, figo international societies the cogs that is uh, canada all these countries have said that you can they have not banned the vaccine to pregnant women so during pregnancy and lactation any time during the pregnancy and lactation they can take the vaccine because those vaccines by the way are you know it depends on the type of vaccine so in no, the but, US, but what is what is the advice dr quello in, in india are we are we agreeing with that or no, is there a different advice and no at present see all the vaccinations are given through the uh, centrally controlled through the covaxin right and we have to go by the rules of the government of india and at present the recommendations from the ministry of health and family welfare of the government of india clearly states that pregnancy and lactation are contraindications to the vaccination and that was rightfully given right in the beginning because this is based on the very sound principle that there is no data available to the ensure the safety in pregnancy and we have no data we have so, so basically the advice of the government of india and the ministry of health right now is that pregnant women not take the vaccination Absolutely. because and not I mean, simply because we have no data to say that it is safe for pregnant women and for their babies but here's a question though 
in the first trimester, there's likely to be many women who don't know they're pregnant. Yet. Is that right. something to watch out for before they go take that vaccine? Right. Not at all. In fact, study, you know, just because they've taken the vaccine in the first trimester or they've taken the vaccine and then they've conceived, that is not an indication to terminate the pregnancy because studies in the West have shown those who have taken their pre uh, the doses during the pregnancy, there has been no adverse effect, adverse pregnancy outcomes in the form of miscarriages, congenital malformations, low birth weight, preterm deliveries, and stillbirths, etc. They have not found any of that. They have been very, very low. So even if they have taken the vaccine in the first trimester, around the globe, there have been no bad effects. Now, it all depends on the type. You know, there are various types of vaccines. We'll yes. just come to that because we know very, very for, for sure that live attenuated virus vaccines are contraindicated in pregnancy. But none of the vaccines available in the world are live attenuated vaccines. The vaccines available in India are Covishield and Covaxin. Covishield from AstraZeneca Serum Institute of India is a what we call a virus vector vaccine. That is the adenovirus, which is a common flu virus, has been tweaked with a spike protein of the COVID-19 and that has formed the vaccine. So therefore there is no infection, no chance of getting animal studies have shown there's no deleterious effect to the fetus, whether you're pregnant, lactating, etc. On the contrary, the immunoglobulins pass through the placenta. They found it on the cord and uh, umbilical cord and also in breast milk. So in fact, it is beneficial to take the vaccine during breastfeeding and during pregnancy. But so, you know, new studies are coming out and, and we have now they come out as early as late as 25th of um, April. The Federation of Obstetric Gynec Societies of India, the FOXI, has come out with a position statement. We all know that we cannot prescribe the vaccine because the government has said no, but we are in the process of giving position statements. And also there are many, uh, you know, you'll be interested, uh, it's interesting to note there are societies like the Society of Meaningful Life Management who has come out with a questionnaire and um, a signature campaign to all the gynecologists all over India. The FOGSI has also given its position statement to the government of India. And we hope in the near future, there will be a change in this policy. So, so let me put this in a nutshell, see if I've understood this correctly. Um, in India, with the two vaccines available in India, there have been no specific studies or trials conducted with pregnant women in order to establish any sort of data on how Absolutely. the vaccine... Absolutely. The government of India has recommended via the health ministry that the vaccine not be administered to pregnant women. What you are saying, though, is if a pregnant woman happened to take the vaccine while she was pregnant because she didn't know or happened to conceive immediately after taking the vaccine, there's no reason to panic because there has been no data anywhere in the world that shows that it affects the baby. In fact, most of the data you've seen from across the world shows that the good stuff, which is the antibodies that your body develops when you take the vaccine, is what is passed on to the baby. And there is no adverse effect. So the Association of Gynecologists in the country have actually written to the government of India saying, this is our position. But so that brings me to my next question which is obviously women who are pregnant have to take extra care. We had this conversation last year as well. And this is a more severe strain of, or a more contagious transmittable strain of the virus. If I'm not going to get vaccinated or women are not going to get vaccinated, are they more likely to get COVID? Are they more likely to be impacted? Does the, the fetus or the baby run a larger risk from getting COVID when the mother gets COVID or from the vaccine yeah that's a good question now we know that a pregnant pregnancy itself is not um, a condition where the woman a pregnant woman is more prone to get the infection so they run the same risk as anyone else in the family from getting the infection but once having got the infection studies have shown that pregnant women are more likely than non-pregnant women to have the serious complications of COVID-19. 
and they are more likely especially the ones who have comorbid conditions they are more likely to get the severe disease which will in, uh, in result in hospitalization interventions oxygenation icu care and greater mortality so therefore it is very important to vaccinate the women that is why the the all the federation of uh, foxy as and also all the federations of obstetrics and gynecology around the world have yeah. recommended that pregnant women and lactating women take the vaccine and therefore i'm sure you know because things are very fluid fay i'm sure mm -hmm. the government also will heed the recommendations of all the um, gynec bodies which have made representations to them and i'm sure the pregnant women and lactating women will be included shortly uh, there has been another question doctor largely about lactating women testing positive uh, on the kind of treatment they should take if they happen to be symptomatic and i brought in this to pray to pregnant women as well we know that largely doctors are using oxygen and steroids is this something that is recommended for women that are either pregnant or lactating uh, and if women who are positive breastfeed their babies who are perfectly healthy uh, is the baby likely to get covid from their uh, moms as well right. we'll take the first question first that is uh, a, a pregnant woman who has a serious infection during her pregnancy which has required her to be hospitalized the 90 90% of them can be managed at home they're asymptomatic they just take uh, maybe paracetamol to bring down the fever and uh, maybe vitamin c multivitamin plenty keep hydrated etc test but if they become serious that is temperature lasts for more than 5 days the oxygenation saturation comes down and they have to be hospitalized then their treatment is no different from the treatment which you would give a non pregnant woman we will have to give them uh, if if remdesivir is required then it's given if steroids are required then it's given with due consent from the mother because now we are dealing with a life threatening situation uh, but this is as i said this is a small amount but more than if she was non pregnant so there is definitely uh, a risk so therefore treatment can be given now with regard to a covid positive mother giving the um, infection to the fetus there have been initially there were studies that said no direct transmission but now direct transmission has been recorded in other countries so there is a direct transmission the baby can get covid from the mother and regarding breastfeeding the mother can breastfeed if she man manages to wear a double mask uh, maintain high hand hygiene then she can lactate and give uh, the uh, uh, give uh, the baby breastfeed so, without so without the child getting the uh, uh, so you're saying the virus is not going to be transmitted via the breast milk it will still be from breathing from you know uh, from yeah. actually droplets that you're breathing onto your baby so if you manage in some way to wear a mask to shield your baby from your own uh, you know from your own droplets then you can and also hand baby. hygiene yes then you can definitely care. we are uh, allowing all our patients to breastfeed their babies uh last question is about fertility treatment there have been questions about whether or not the vaccine will in any way affect fertility if women are aiming to get pregnant or undergoing fertility treatment right now which you are an expert in should they avoid taking the vaccine does it not matter what's your advice no definitely they can take that the vaccine do not if you are trying your fertility treatment just don't uh, delay the vaccine just because you might get pregnant because studies have shown even in the first trimester of pregnancy there's no problem so definitely don't delay fertility treatment it doesn't matter even if you conceive soon after taking the vaccine yes you can and if you are pregnant then of course once the government regulations change then you can take the second dose also so there's no problem then another question is during periods i've been inundated with you are ringing up and saying i didn't want to offend you by asking that no, question no no in fact, in <laughs> fact that is definitely another a question that we we should say Uh, we should uh, this is because that everyone is asking there's absolutely no scientific endocrinological uh, neurological or uh, hormonal uh, disturbance of the vaccine when you have your period so just like you can take any other vaccine during period you can also take uh, the covid vaccine during your periods do not delay just to put it in a nutshell if we have understood this correctly uh the indian government and the health ministry right now recommends that pregnant women not be vaccinated 
reacting to the lack of data of trials conducted on pregnant women, of which there are none. Yeah. But the association of OBGYNs in this country and many other doctors across the world are of the opinion that there is no harm whatsoever that will come to the baby when a pregnant woman takes a vaccine. In fact, they have noticed uh, that it is the antibodies, which is what we are hoping to develop, that moves from mother to the fetus. Uh, as far as um, you know, lactating women is concerned, again, uh, the doctors are of an opinion that if you take your vaccine, you, it has no impact on your baby at all. Uh, it doesn't hurt your baby in any way. Um, if you, but on the other hand, though, if pregnant women do test positive, um, then, and, and if they're asymptomatic and they're at home and it's something that can be managed at home, that's great. But if they have to be hospitalized, make sure that you have, uh, that you A, tell the doctor who's, who's looking after you in the COVID um, you know, ward, make sure you involve your gynecologist to talk to the doctor who's treating you for COVID so that there is a proper understanding of your case. Um, and, and of course, you cannot, if you happen to be tested positive, you cannot give your baby COVID via breast milk, but you will have to cover up your mouth and your nose because it's still about washing your hands and it's about the droplets and it's all of the things that you've been told for the last one year. Uh, this is roughly what we have. And of course, finally, we don't know which WhatsApp uncle put out that WhatsApp, but your periods and your vaccine have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Do not let that stop you. Uh, from it doesn't affect problems. your fertility also. I get a lot of questions of people. If we give a, uh, you know, if uh, women who are, you know, not even pregnant, young girls, or, uh, you know, they are so worried that if they give the vaccine, their fertility is, ex is uh, uh, altered, which is totally unscientific, you know. And, you know, uh, one thing we must talk about, doctor, and I know that at Foxy, which is the Association of OBGYNs in India, you have been collating information about your parents, uh, of your patients across the country, I beg your pardon. Uh, is there information about people and within your team, within your resident doctors, who have taken both doses of the vaccine? And what result have you seen in terms of falling sick, hospitalization, testing positive? So I'll just tell you, the FOXI had conducted a survey among its members to assess the incidence of side effects. I'm not talking about pregnancy. This is fraud because obviously pregnant women. But this is health workers who've been given and the FOXI has conducted uh, 25 to 45, 47% of the 2,083 people who were vaccinated reported some effects, mild effects like fever, malaise, local pain. And effects were not serious and did not require anything further. Only symptomatic relief. Serious um, uh, anaphylactic and severe allergic reactions, thromboembolic phenomenon, uh, severe GI disturbances, facial palsy, local infections, hospitalizations were not reported at all in these patients, not at all. And if you see uh, in, in Western countries, out of 5 to 10 million vaccinations till March 2021, 100 million doses were given and there were only about 600 serious adverse events. There have been very few adverse uh, effects, so the vaccine is very safe. Dr. Kiran Koyla, thank you so much for speaking with me and helping answering all of these uh, questions. Of course, I do hope we can come back to you with more questions to our viewers who are watching. If you have a question for Dr. Koyla, leave it in the comment section and we'll ask her to come back and ask, answer your questions for you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.